Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, yo, Cappy here. I've got some sunlight coming. Yeah, I did clean up. I, did. I split the wood. I went to the gym, got all sweaty, and it's a date night tonight, so me and the girl are gonna go. Date, I'll explain date to MGTOWs. Dates are when you and another girl that you either are or are about to have sex with go out and enjoy each other's company. It's very complex, very complex. <laughs> I gotta delineate between me because there are genuine MGTOWs out there, but they're doing their own thing, going their own way. They're not there on the keyboard. <laughs> Anyway, that's not the topic of conversation. The topic of conversation is a video request from Joshua, and Joshua writes, Hi, I come from an international school in Japan. I'm debating on what I should major in college. I'm a rising senior, I really need to have a plan. So, hey, can you be a rising senior? All of high school is bullshit. No one, no one gives a shit about what you did in high The day high school is over, that fucking shit, you could have cured cancer when you are in high school. No one's going to fuck remember it. And you could have walked down the thing naked on your hands. No one's going to remember that. High school, once it's over, it's over. No one's a rising senior. It's maybe in the 40s. Uh, since I'll be applying to colleges this fall, most likely U.S. or Canadian colleges, since I'll be making a huge investment and my family isn't extremely wealthy, I want to know which majors are worth it for an international student. I've considered computer science or an accounting so far since I have strengths in mathematics. Could you please inform me on the job market for international students in North America? I'm pretty Western. Most people mistake me for American. And social, well, that, that, that doesn't really I mean, just apply for citizenship, although that will become easier as you gain residency or as a student and all that. But you, you'll want to talk to an um, uh, immigration lawyer, depending on whether you go to Canada or in the United States. Uh, could you please inform me on the job market for today? Oh, I'm very Western. Uh, people mistake. Oh, well, sorry. English is pretty much my first language as well. It is worth pursuing. Is it worth pursuing computer science or an accounting degree abroad? And do you think I can land a job after graduation? Reply or a video would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Josh. Well, thanks, Josh. All right, here's the deal. Um, it's pretty much universal. There are some differences depending on which country you're in but pretty much yeah accounting and computer science are good degrees the computer science degree is better than the accounting degree if you're looking purely at money but if you had like a passion for accounting which I don't know why you would uh, then I would go with accounting but otherwise the problem with accounting especially here in the United States of Canada is uh, the progressive credentialism before you you could just sit for your CPA there's this guy he died he died at like 94 he was CPA number one in Minnesota first guy to have a CPA license he never went to college he just tested for his CPA now oh god you can't sit for the CPA exam without having fucking damn well near half your fucking master's degree finish oh fuck no you wouldn't be able to do accounting without going to college so uh, accounting is, is on the downward slope, whereas I think computer science is staying stable, if not on the upward. Now, I do know that there's computer science, there's also computer engineering, and you say you're good at math. What I would frankly do, if you're that indecisive, like it could be just as well as accounting is just as well as computer science, uh, and you really have no compunction towards one or the other, I'd be looking at electrical engineering um, or petroleum engineering or computer engineering. Those are the highest paying ones, and those are the ones that are going to test your math. So if, uh, it's a mistake I made. Like, I just scored calculus, sailed through it, no problem. I mean, math was not an issue. I, it just came naturally to me. And I really do wish I had applied towards the engineering and the sciences instead of finance and statistics and economics. Uh, so I would, I would eschew the accounting degree and go into the hardcore, hardcore STEM where you're going to get a lot of And then once you get that degree... Yeah, world's your oyster. I mean, petroleum engineering, you could work in the Middle East, you could work here, you could work You could work in um, the Bakken oil field, you could work, I'm sure in Japan they have uh, uses for you. Um, but again, your electrical engineering, computer engineering, that you'll, you'll be able to go pretty much kind of wherever you want. Still, always look up starting salaries in the countries that you want to are thinking about living in. That might be another determining uh, factor that you want. You can also buy the book Worthless, but I think if you've been narrowed it down this much, I think you you're not going to goof it up as long as you don't make some fucking stupid ass liberal arts bullshit. Um, as for the job markets, the job markets here suck for young people and fresh college graduates. Even STEM and engineering are having a hard time and I feel really bad because a lot of 
young men and some women are going into STEM, they're going into engineering, they're going into accounting, they graduate and they're not getting the jobs that they think that they were going to get. And they think that somehow they've failed or they're having bad luck, but really the, the labor market for young people here today is, is, is that bad. And what they don't realize, it'd be even worse if you had a degree in English or philosophy or whatever other Mickey Mouse degrees they're handing out and mass producing on pieces of paper. Uh, so um, I, just, just don't expect like you're going to graduate and oh yeah, you know, you're just going to get five job offers in the six figure uh, salary range. Uh, not to mention the labor market will change definitely in the four to five years it's going to take you to get that real degree. But otherwise you're on the right track. You're definitely thinking right. Um, one thing I will say, just <laughs> Canada winners are brutal. I mean, I'm in Minnesota. I'm not even in Canada. Canada winners are brutal. So um, if price is not an issue or you could find an equivalent college, I would go someplace fun. I would go where it's a good reputable degree whichever one you choose, but warm, or at least where there's mountains. So the American South, California, if you could get in there and get, get it cheap. I mean, I hate California for a job market, but it is nice, and they do have good schools, or at least highly ranked. They have highly ranked schools, let's put it that way. Uh, I really like Utah again, but you know, I don't know if there's a great engineering program in Utah. Colorado is another state you might like. Um, Florida is warm. Uh, so just really avoid Canada and these cold ass fucking northern states in the United States. But that's, that speaks nothing to the educational merits of, of the degree or the school. It's just the amount of pain you're going to avoid during these brutal winters we got. So anyway, wish you the best of luck, Josh. Just keep, yeah, keep, you're, you're on the right track. Don't worry too much. And if, if you're still worried, buy the book Worthless. You can find it on the internet and um, that might provide additional research. But I think you're... You're in the ballpark and maybe even within the diamond. So best of luck. Toodles.